Hi everyone, I'm Deputy Mealy with the Pasco Sheriff's Office. You'll be doing a tweet along with me tonight. See what we can get into. So right now we're responding to a crash on I-75. Uh, it's going to be a vehicle that went off into the bushes. Um, I know what injuries right now. We're right now I'm stuck here. So now we're on scene of the crash here. It looks like all occupants are out of the vehicle, which is good. Uh, we'll still have fire to come out and check them out for us. So Phil Highway Patrol is here. They handle all crash investigations in the county of Pasco. So we'll be assuming this investigation from here on out. So we did a traffic stop for a vehicle going 75 and a posted 55. Uh, with a loud exhaust. So here's the checked out find. They're young kids. We're just going to give them a verbal warning for today and educate them on the law. So we're going to pull over somebody for speeding right now. We're going 65 and a post 50. So we're going to stop right now. So we're en route to a PC pickup, which is a probable cause order would be used here in Pasco. This subject here is wanted for battery in the degree of felony because he has multiple battery convictions and he admitted to doing so. We're wrapping up the PC pickup here. Uh, it was unsuccessful. He personally refused to come to the door. Um, we used all the resources though just in case he did. Uh, but we're actually being redirected to a domestic in progress right now uh, regarding one of the subjects having a fire with threat to use on the other person. So we'll keep you posted on that. So we just concluded that call at the domestic disturbance there. Um, luckily, this ended peacefully. We were able to resolve all issues. Everybody went their separate ways and remained separated. But that does lead me to a good point. Regarding the holiday season coming up, we do usually see an uptake in domestic disturbances and violences happening within Pasco County. Um, please utilize the, utilize the resources on our website. Um, and also, please, please, please do not hesitate to call us if you need us. So this is the end of tonight's Tweet Along. Tonight was a pretty busy night, so I appreciate you guys following along to see what we do here on patrol and keep you guys safe during the night.